All right, I'm going to give a little demonstration on how to do any percent on the Mario level, because there seems to be a lack of resources out there about it. So I figure I may as well go ahead and show my setup for doing Mushroom Any Percent. So start out with the Captain Glitch. Some people are familiar with it, others aren't. Um, a lot of people think it's some big complicated thing when they first try and do it. It's actually super simple. Um, so what I do is I like to have Yoshi as my captain with Wario's team. So in order to do that, I want to first hover over Peach. And then I want to hold down R, the R button here, right there, and just scroll all the way across until I land on, not him, until I land on Yoshi. And then you'll see that Wario's frame is like in the background there, but Yoshi's the one who's actually like, you know, doing his little dance in front of it. And you see Wario's team next to it. Um, and that's all it is. That's all you have to do for the Captain Glitch. So once you've done that, select Yoshi. This is who I always pick. The reason that I do Yoshi with Wario's team is that Yoshi runs around the map super fast. He's actually the fastest one to run around the map. Also, since I'm going from Yoshi's place to Mario to Peach to DK to Wario to Bowser, it's the most efficient route in pathing across this area. So yeah, start out here on Mario, start our game. And what I like to do when setting up my characters here is I like to swap out Wario and put in Yoshi. And then I usually put Yoshi in center. This next part is kind of up to like preference. You don't really have to do it this way. I just prefer Yoshi in center because he has a lot of range with catching fly balls in the outfield. And PD in right field I like because if a fly ball comes out towards him, he can sometimes get an outfield assist over to Blue Madge. And I just leave King Book pitching for now. So go OK. And then the reasoning for my lineup here, I like to have Blue Magic Koopa start out so he can star hit the ball. And I like to have Yoshi third so he can bunt, but then later on in the order, after I've mercied, he can get a base hit for me. Um, I also like to move PD into the four spot because I like to have him doing a regular hit and then having Yellow Madge do a star hit and then King Boo do a regular hit after these guys have done the bunt glitch, which is what I'm going to show you now. Okay, first up, Blue Magic Koopa. You're going to want to get a star hit. Like that. You can basically leave him on, leave him on first for now. All right, so now we're going to steal Blue Magic Koopa. And we're going to get a base hit with Waluigi, and we're going to advance Blue Magic Koopa over to the third. So now we have our runners in first and third, and that's where we're trying to go for. So now... Since we have first and third, what we want to do, this is where it gets kind of tricky. Um, we're going to steal with the runner on first base. But we're not going to steal with the runner on third base. So in order to do that on the controller, you will push up on the control stick and Y. And that will only steal with your guy from first base going to second. And the reason that we're doing that is so that the computer will want to throw the ball home and get me out. But they, you know, they're going to throw it too early and I'm just going to run back to third base so that I can get bases loaded. And that's basically how you cheese the computer, manipulating them to throw home, foregoing the out that they could have gotten and then getting the bases loaded with no outs. And that's kind of like the big strategy for mercying in this game. So we're going to steal with Waluigi here, bunt with Yoshi, bunt goes down, Mario's going to throw home. I'm going to go back with Blue Magic Koopa there, and now I have bases loaded. So that's basically kind of what's going to be going on every time you're, uh, you know, every every time you're going for a Mercy, you want to do that. You want to get that bunchies, get the bases loaded. All right, so I'm going to steal with everyone and hit a ball like that. Just do a slap hit. There's no reason to go for a charge hit. Um, the charge hit is more likely to be an out or a home run. We just want to get first and third again so we can be right back to our bunchies again. So now we've got the setup again, right? So now it's just kind of rinse and repeat. I'm stealing with PD. I'm bunting with Green Magikoopa. They're throwing it home. Yoshi runs back to third. 
Base is loaded again, nobody out. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with Yellow Magic Koopa. He gets a base hit. We go first and third. I could advance him, but there's no point. We want to keep the setup. So we're gonna keep it a first and third like that. And then again, boost up to bat, steal with Yellow Magic Koopa, bunt. Luigi gets the ball, throws home. I run back with Green Magic Koopa and go back to third. Base is loaded again. Now, the only people who I'm not going to use star power with are PD and Boo. Or PD and King Boo, rather. So that's where it gets kind of tricky. Um, later in my runs, you'll see me switching from King Boo and PD to Mario and Luigi. And the reason I do that is because they are more consistent hitters. But yeah, we'll go back to the cheese here. Mario throws home. I go back. Everybody's safe. Now, this is where it takes a slight twist. Now, I'm going to steal with everyone. I'm going to star hit with Blue Magic Koopa. And this time, I'm not going to stop on first with Blue Magic Koopa. I'm going to bring him to second base. So now I have second and third. And the reason I'm doing this is because I have eight runs. So now I can just bunt in both of the runners. And you'll see what I mean. So I'll steal with both of them. I can bunt. Red Magic Koopa scores. I don't care about Waluigi getting out. I still have one out. I can still squeeze another bunt. So now I steal again. Yoshi bunts. I score. Yoshi's out. And then now I just want to get Pedio because we got our 10 runs. And there it is. That's the mercy. Um, so yeah. I mean... That's basically all there is to it. Um, for a little while, you want to just, you know, practice doing that strategy where you're bunting and trying to move your runners back and forth. Um, it is worth noting, if you're trying to go back to third base with your runner going home, um, the way to do just the runner going back to third is uh, X into the left on the controller here. So I would hold down X and I would go to the left. Um, yeah, and then, obviously, you just want to get the rest of the guys out. Right, so, now we're done with this game. We got the Mercy. Got our big MVP, PD. And now, the only other part worth mentioning for my setup for any percent is just this next small part here. So after I beat Mario... I acquire Mario and Luigi because I mercy them. So I get them on my team now. And Mario and Luigi also happen to be good hitters. And since I'm only doing contact hits with PD and King Boo, it doesn't really make sense to keep them on my team when their hits are a little bit more inconsistent than Mario and Luigi's hits. So I swap King Boo with Mario, and I swap PD with Luigi. And I keep Mario on the mound for a specific reason, actually, because he's actually the fastest pitcher in the game. All right, so the reason that Mario is a good pitcher is because you do an animation cancel with him. Um, I don't know that I've mastered the exact timing. Um, it just takes a little bit of getting used to. But basically, after Mario has thrown a pitch, you can start the next pitch before his animation's over, like that. And he ends up throwing the ball really fast. And obviously the idea as a pitcher is that you want to get through the inning fast. So you want to try and throw the ball as fast as you can. So here, click, and then it cancels the animation again. Obviously I threw a ball there, which isn't good, but it just shows you how much faster he's you know, throwing the ball. If I compare it to when he's throwing the ball without doing that animation cancel... Uh, it's a lot slower. That's how long it takes him. So you've got to get the timing exactly right so that he's able to throw the ball before his animation is complete like this. And that is what makes Mario the best pitcher. But yeah, um, that's basically it for the tutorial. I know it was pretty scrappy, but 
yeah, I hope it helps people that are trying to get into the speedrunning of this because it is a really fun speedrun once you get into it. And after you get like this technical stuff down, it'll be just muscle memory. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.